I have to ask you about the probation or, trial. Yeah. You, you're probably aware you're on one of the defense witness lists. Yeah. Um, do you reasonably, reasonably think you'll be called? No, I don't think I'll be called at all. I mean, I don't have any information to add to that trial. Uh, I, I'm on the list, I think, because I wrote letters of recommendation for folks, but uh, there's no, I haven't been contacted by anyone, haven't spoken to anybody, so I really don't think I'm going to be called. What do you think of this whole culture? I mean, you're running a city now, so you've got to be particularly sensitive to patronage. And well, a lot of it's changed. I mean, the, the legislature, when I was in the legislature, uh, we made a lot of changes, uh, particularly around the courts, and as far as job recommendations and being able to refer people. And so a lot of that's been changed. Uh, I think the, the uh, I'm not sure exactly what the trials what the trials are all about, to be quite honest with you. Uh, but I think it, you know we've made some significant changes in the ethics laws and the laws around recommending folks for jobs. Uh, and as part of an elected official's job is, is to recommend people. I mean, as a state rep, I, I get hundreds of calls a year, thousands of calls a year, looking for a letter recommendation, whether it's for a job or, or for school. Uh, as mayor, I get less of them, but I'm sure people around me are getting. Do you have feelings about it one way or the other? I mean, the bottom line is it's not criminal. It's not criminal, but I think you have to make sure that when you hire somebody, you get the most qualified person for the particular job. I think that when people are getting jobs that aren't qualified, that's where the problem comes into play. Uh, but there's a process. I mean, I know that for city government, uh, we have a job posting process, uh, it, you know, other than maybe the immediate cabinet. Uh, but even then, we, we posted the job for the Arts Commissioner uh, online, so, so we're, we're accepting applicants. So I, really, I think there really is a process. The best way to get the best qualified people is through a vetting process. And, and sometimes people you might know want the job, but if they're not the best qualified, most qualified, they shouldn't get it. Well, you're a Boston guy. Have you felt any pressure in this regard, or do have people oh, oh, been respectful? Be, yeah, people are respectful, but it was, you know, when we changed the law and changed the process in Beacon Hill, it was difficult because as a Boston legislator or a Boston elected official, you know, as a legislator, a lot of legislators legislate. Uh, as a Boston legislator or an urban legislator, you do more than legislate, so people expect so much more out of you because over the years, people were once they elected officials for help in finding employment. Uh, but really, you know, when we decided to change the law probably around 2010, 2011, it changed. And people understand now when they would call me looking for a letter recommendation or looking for help that you just can't do that. Okay. So wait, is it sort of like forbidden now? I would say it, it's, it's very fr it's frowned upon. And I think most legislators, I was the chair of ethics, so a lot of times the reps would call me and ask me about a particular situation. Should they write a letter? Should they not write a letter? Should they make a call? Not make a call? And then we have the, have the training uh, yearly. We, we have people would come in from ethics and from uh, Office of Political Campaign Finance. They'd come in and explain the rules of, of, of what to expect, what to watch out for. And, and sometimes the, the perception uh, is actually is worse than the reality, meaning the perception of, of writing a letter, and you got to be very careful with that. Mm -hmm. Any idea how many people you might have written letters for? Oh, I wrote letters for, for over, over my time? Oh, hundreds over, over my time as a legislator for people for jobs, absolutely hundreds. I mean, it was my job, and, and I wouldn't shy away from it. I think around the probation trial, again, I don't know much, all the details, uh, there was more, at least the assumption was there was more going on around it, but, um, you know, I wrote hundreds, maybe thousands of letters.